No one is coming back after NFL Network scandal. And this is Marshall Falk, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. And this is according to the New York Post. This is after being accused of sexual harassment, Hall of Famer Marshall Falk is expected to part ways with the NFL Network soon. The Post has learned. Sources said Ike Taylor and Heath Evans also will not return as analysts on the network's broadcast this fall. The trio was suspended late last year after a woman brought a wrongful termination suit against the NFL Enterprises. So this woman got fired, okay? And what she blamed her getting fired on was the fact that these guys, I guess, got upset because she wouldn't uh, – that she wouldn't um, show them attention, I guess. So what she's, I guess what she went off of is they complained and got her fired. Taylor is already gone while representatives for Falk and Evans were finishing up the language of their exits. Uh, Falk's contract had at least one more year on it. One clause in the deal source said will prevent either side from suing the other. So they can't sue him, he can't sue them. So that, that's a way for them to protect themselves. Um, and by the way, this is Heath Evans, Marshall Falk, and this is Donovan McNabb. He was accused as well We're on a different uh, show. The NFL Network declined to comment. Besides having the most prolific playing career, Falk had the highest TV profile of the three, having worked on NFL Network's top Sunday pregame show and as part of his Thursday night football coverage. The suit claims Falk groped the woman's breasts and behind, while Taylor allegedly sent a video of himself masturbating in the shower. Evans is said to have asked for sex and sent nude pictures of himself. <sighs> Do these dudes know anything about Instagram and Backpage? No, not Backpage, but, you know, you got all these sites where you can meet women. All you got to do is say, hey, I played in the NFL. I was a fullback. I was a cornerback for 10 years. But you out there filling up on this woman. Now, she may be going along with it because she, you know, I'm listen, I don't, they, obviously they sided with her instead of them. Um because they're firing all these guys. If it was like a mutual situation, but I mean, you got dudes sending nude pictures of themselves, sending videos of them, you know, of fondling themselves. And these are the type of men who we're looking up to. A shout out to Saikiba. I appreciate that, bro. Shout out to Saikiba. So I keep it for the donation. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, she was giving out her number. That's why when I first saw the, the stories, I did a video on it. I said to myself, why did this woman give these guys her number? Why would you give guys your number when you feel like they're being pervy? You know? Former Pro Bowl quarterback Donovan McNabb and cornerback Eric Davis also were named in the suit. They both had already left the NFL Network for ESPN. ESPN subsequently fired the duo. After the suit, Eric Weinberger, an executive producer at the NFL Network, also lost his job. Weinberger, who allegedly sent uh, allegedly sent nude pictures of himself to the woman, had previously left for Bill Simmons' ringer. Weinberger was first placed on administrative leave before being fired by the ringer. So the word of one woman basically has ruined all these guys. And what's crazy is I th did not see Eric Davis on Fox Sports, FS1, if I'm not mistaken. 
why are these guys sending new photos of themselves? I mean, she must. This chick must be got a bad body. I've seen her face. Now the woman is older. At least she's in her forties, late forties, something like that. Now she must have a very nice body for you guys to be simping out as much as you were. And I believe Heath Evans is married. I don't know about him. I think he just went through a divorce. Donovan McNabb is married. Um, I don't know about Weinberger, but. Come on, man. This this doesn't make any sense, man. This, this really does. It doesn't make any sense to be this thirsty. I swear to God, it doesn't make any sense to be this thirsty. You got three, four grown motherfucking men sitting up here sending, two of them sending photos and videos of themselves. The thirst is real. Do you know how, do you know how simple it is? To just go to a store or a restaurant and as long as a couple of people know you, women are going to be like, oh shit, he's famous. Now, they don't state that if the woman sent photos to them, sent videos to them, you can't expose yourself this badly unless somebody sends you something in return. Do I believe this woman probably sent them some stuff, some photos of herself? She might have, but in this day and age, as a man who is accused of sexual harassment, it is very difficult to defend yourself and defend your actions. In this day and age, it is very difficult to defend yourself. So this woman could have sent them all types of photos and videos, but nobody's going to believe it because you got this moron, uh, Ike Taylor, sending nude photos of him, not nude photos, sending videos of himself in the shower to this woman. Yeah, they very much so thinking with the wrong head. Keith Evans is married, talks about his wife a lot, but here you are trying to sleep with this other woman. <laughs> Now, maybe, you know, uh, you know, because last time I checked uh, on Marshall Falk, read up on him, he was going through a divorce. Now, maybe that divorce mentally just, like, kicked his ass to the point to where, you know, he is not thinking properly. But that ain't no excuse either, bro. Because I'm pretty sure you are a well-educated man. You're very serious about your job. You cannot make decisions like this. It just doesn't make sense. And then you got Donovan McNabb, who's married as well. I don't know about Eric Davis. But it just it, it doesn't make sense for these guys, these decorated guys, to go this far to be this thirsty. Because this is making them all look bad. And, it, and especially for... A guy like Marshall Falk, who is a Hall of Famer. He's a guy who I really liked on the NFL Network. He did really good work there. But this, to me, is just the beyond, you know, um, being a joke. It's beyond, you know, you not caring about your job. Because eventually, you do shit like this, it's going to come to light. Office romances always get exposed. Especially the two people are, get, are at odds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure IG models follow these guys on social media. Especially the, old, especially the older IG models. <laughs> you know? Thank you for liking the, the stream. But Marshall... You should know better, bro. You already going through it with this divorce. I think, but I mean, it was a, it's a ways back, but this could have been handled better. As you know, not first off, don't send nude photos of yourself. 
or videos. Two, don't be feeling on this woman at the job. Come on, bro. Unless you have visual evidence of her grabbing your dick, do not be putting your hands nowhere near this woman at your job because that's going to get exposed. And they're going to take her word for it because she's a woman. Really? You got a baby by Derek Fisher's ex-wife? Yep, Terrell Davis also works part-time at the NFL Network. I don't know if he's going to be there this season, but you know, he's usually up there during the season. Yeah, no simping at the job, man. Absolutely none. I be seeing these dudes, man, they be trying to flirt with these women at the job. I'm like, man, I'm not putting my job in jeopardy for none of these thizzots. Not me. So unless you got video of a woman grabbing you by the dick, don't be putting your hands nowhere near her. <laughs> I don't care how fat her ass is. I don't care how good she look on that particular day. Don't do it. What's going on, John? Because us, especially as black men, you, you already know HR is trying to get rid of us. HR is already trying to get rid of us. What's going on, Antoine? HR is trying to get us black men, though, trying to get us out of there. They want somebody to come to them and say, hey, this person did this and said this to me. They can't wait to get rid of you. So you never want to give HR a reason to get rid of you. Because these women know this. These women will go straight to AR just if you disagree with them. Not AR. Go straight to um, HR if you have a disagreement with them. Yeah, the HR is definitely for the company, but they have it's a certain bias in HR. Like they enjoy just pulling a dude's file and, and, and stamping your fired on it. And there's a reason why they hire the type of people that they do in HR. Because they're looking to get rid of you. Genghis, I'm pretty sure you've sent way more than I could have thought of sending. Because I, I think you have the spirit of a simp. <laughs> Yeah, because I think you have the spirit of a simp. I sense the spirit of simping in you. <laughs> so we have to be very vigilant, man. This could be a this could be a lesson, man. This guy is a Hall of Fame running back. Won a championship with the Rams in '99. Went to the Super Bowl 2001. Lost. But they were the greatest show on turf. Hmm. No, Weinberger quietly got his name, you know, put out there quietly, very quietly, you know. <laughs> the simp is strong in this one. Well, the simp is very strong in, in uh, Marshall Falk, and that's why they got rid of him. Him, Ike Taylor, Heath Evans. Donovan McNabb, Eric Davis, and Eric Weinberger. All of them got rid of, got themselves, got rid of, they got rid of them because the spirit of the simp was in them.